In this tutorial, we'll be creating this auto scaling rig in After Effects. So once I bring this image closer here, you can see that once it reaches the center, it moves in the Z position closer to the camera. And if I move it away, it goes back to the same position. Now this is all automatically controlled by this rig. Now another cool thing here is if we take the camera, for example, and rotate it around, these layers are still gonna be facing it and having the same scale effect, but from a different angle. So let's get into making this. I'm gonna start off with a 1080p composition and I'll grab the ellipse tool here, hold down Control Alt Shift and just create a symmetrical shape. Then I'll go into my align here and just align it to the center of my composition. So what I'm gonna do here is create a couple of compositions. Let's name this image one and we'll make it 720p. And I'll just create a few of these for the tutorial. You can create as many as you want. So I think three will be enough. And let's grab them into our composition here. And maybe just create a solid so we can actually see them better. So just grab a random solid and paste them here. Let's go ahead and scale this down a bit. So maybe 70. And I'll just spread them apart like so. So just move them roughly. Just make sure there is distance. And then I'll grab these layers, go back to my line and make sure the distribution is equal between each of them. Let's hide these two layers for now and start using our expression. So I'm gonna hit P for position, alt click it and this expression is gonna be in the description. So just copy it and paste it over here. Then we wanna make sure our layers are 3D and I'm gonna rename my shape layer to control. Now, I'm not good with expressions, but I'll still try to let you know what's going on here. So we've got a shape layer, which we called control. If you named it something else, you need to change it right here. Then we've got the distance, basically how close the composition is to our shape layer and two values. So this is the X, Y, and Z. And here we got it increasing by 500. So pretty simple. Once you think about it, we've got the distance here. Once we increase it, the shape is going to get larger from a greater distance. Once we decrease it, it's going to do the opposite. So if I take this composition here and start moving it, you can see that it gets bigger once it reaches the shape layer in the center. Now, this is not scaling up, but moving in the Z position. And I'll show you why in a bit. So let's start copying this expression and pasting it to the rest of our images. So alt click, paste into all the composition that you've got. Let's enable them and I'm going to select them all and just give them two keyframes moving in position here. So let's go over here, just animate it scrolling up. Let me hide the shape layer. So this is the basic setup that we've got here. Now you can obviously add as many compositions as you need. And the reason we have separate compositions is if we go into one of them, we can drag a text in here, for example, and it's going to update only for the first one. So we basically create sort of a template where we can insert different images, videos, or whatever you want to. Let me just create the background here so it's nicer to look at. Now let me show you how you can have it facing the camera at all times. So this is something that I've showed in previous tutorials, but basically if we grab these compositions, right click, transform, select our orient, and orient towards camera. So if I take my camera here, I'm holding down alt, I can move it around, and no matter where I place it, it's still going to be facing my camera. And they'll be moving in a similar way because we've got this expression here. Now, once you insert some images, it's starting to make more sense. Now, since we are in 3D, we can also create a light. Let's make it a parallel light, cast shadows on. Let's set it to something like 50 and bring it back here. I'll select all my layers here as well. Hit AA and I'll set the cast shadows to on also make the background 3d and let's move it back here just so it casts some shadows as well now the only reason i've chose to work with position instead of scale is i wanted to avoid any overlapping so if i go to my second image here and just scale it up you can see that it gets behind this image and we don't want that so if we move it in the z position instead it gets closer to the camera and basically on the front so that is the only reason we're working with position instead of scale I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.